All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for our author study, we are going to be looking at The Flying Dragon Room. And this book was written by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Mark Teague. It all happened because of The Flying Dragon Room, or so they say, though Patrick didn't know that at first. It was summer, and Patrick's mother and father had hired Mrs. Jenkins to help them paint the house. Patrick wanted to help paint, too, but his parents just thought he would get in the way. That's when Mrs. Jenkins brought out her special tools. I just bought something fun with these, she said. Why don't you borrow them and see what you can make? All that week, while the house was being painted, Patrick worked in the backyard with Mrs. Jenkins' special tools. On Saturday, he invited everyone, including baby Sarah, over to see his new place. Get ready for the backyard surprise of your life, he said. Mrs. Jenkins gets to push the invisible button. Mrs. Jenkins did. A door in the ground opened slowly. Everyone followed Patrick down the steps, through a dark tunnel, and into a large cavern. Welcome to the subterranean room, Patrick said. Step right this way for a tour of the small creature garden. Welcome to the bubble room, Patrick said. Mrs. Jenkins peeked through an enormous bubble. What's that gizmo over there, she asked. That, Patrick explained, is my bigger than better bubble blower. It never quits unless I say. Then he whispered, Ubble, ubble, no ubbly bubs. Oh no, mother cried. Where is baby Sarah? Follow me, Patrick said. I know where she went. Gads, mother exclaimed. What are those creepy crawly things? Don't worry, mom, Patrick said as he handed her one. They wouldn't hurt a flea. Where does that go, father asked, pointing to a strange ladder. To get to the next room, Patrick explained. We must climb the zigzaggedy ladder. Welcome to the food room, he said. There's plenty for all. Help yourself. The hungry travelers gathered treats of every kind, then sat down to eat. When they finished, Patrick pulled on a monkey chain. Presto, he shouted. It's the snake slide. Welcome to the jumping room, Patrick cried. Jump up and down, scream all you want. That's what you do in the jumping room. Whoopee, Mrs. Jenkins shouted as she did a backflip with a twist. Father tried belly scoops. Mom pretended she could fly. And baby Sarah jumped clear out of sight. Now hear this, Patrick announced on his mega megaphone. Jump aboard the Jolly Mermaid. It's time to sail. Grasping the wheel, Patrick steered the Jolly Mermaid through the dark waters. Oh no, Mother cried. What's that? Frothing water began to swirl around the boat. Fire and vapor shot up from the salty depths. It looks like we're in for a rough crossing, Mrs. Jenkins said. Emergency, Patrick shouted. Hang on for dear life. The underwater fire lizard is surfacing. The clawed hand of a giant sea monster reached for the Jolly Mermaid. Patrick threw open Mrs. Jenkins' toolbox and took out a measuring stick. Pointing it at the creature, he shouted, Water lizard! Fireworm! X! Apostrophe! S! Shrink! 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 As the shrinking sea monster tumbled through the air, Patrick reached out and caught it. Another fine specimen for my small creature garden, he said. Hooray, father cheered, giving his son a hug. Patrick is our hero, mother agreed, kissing him on the cheek. This is the best adventure I've had in years, Mrs. Jenkins said. The jelly mermaid sailed peacefully up a river and into a lush lagoon. 
Emergency, Father cried. We're surrounded by giant, people-eating alligators. Don't worry, Dad, Patrick said. They're friends of mine. Welcome to the friendly wild animal room, he shouted. All the friendly wild animals gathered around. Mother braided a buffalo's curly locks. Father tickled a giraffe's chin, and baby Sarah snuggled up with the napping lion. Is that a Tyrannosaurus Rex over there? Mrs. Jenkins wanted to know. Yep, Patrick said, giving her some carrots. Mrs. Jenkins, she likes them. Why, she's just tame as a kitten, Mrs. Jenkins said. I like your place, Patrick. There's no place like my place, he agreed. Perhaps, Mrs. Jenkins said with a wink. But haven't you seen my place yet? Your place? Patrick exclaimed. Yep, she said. Everyone's invited to my place tomorrow morning. Mrs. Jenkins blew on her whistle, then picked up her special toolbox. Don't be late, she called. The tour begins at 10 o'clock in my flying dragon room. And it did. Or so they say. All right, and that ends our book for today.